Jess had a lesson booked for this particular day. Uh, she was in training for a competition she was going to go to that weekend. Yeah, it was just a, a normal day. I remember having the lesson with Lucy. I was jumping about two foot nine, three foot, show jumping course. And everything was going very well until that point. I remember going to, up to the third jump of my triple and that's the last thing I can remember. It was as if I was watching a film, it was, didn't seem real. For some reason, um, at the final jump, the horse um, got the pole caught between its legs and tripped and flipped over. Um, Jess on the floor, horse rolled over the top of her. We just ran. When we got to Jess, she, her breathing just slowed. And, and at that point, I thought the worst, really. I said to Michelle, we need, we've got to get an ambulance. Uh, they started working on, on Jess. And then the NAS car arrived. My name's Carl Smith. I'm a critical care paramedic. My full-time job is with the East of England Ambulance Service. And in my spare time and on my days off, I'm a voluntary responder um, for NAS, which is Norfolk Accident Rescue Service. We go out to assist crews, the most seriously injured people, um, either on request or if the initial call comes in as serious and uh, we're sent it with the initial response. When Carl got out of the car, I realised that he was obviously, you know, a doctor of, or a medic of some sort. I arrived on scene. Um, Jessica's mum was there, obviously very upset and distressed, as any mother would be. And there was a, an ambulance crew already on scene with the patient. It was clear from the handover they gave me that, that um, Jessica had a serious brain injury. A million thoughts run through your head. Is she going to be alive? Is she going to have brain damage? Is she going to be able to walk again? I can actually remember laying on the floor and seeing all of them looking at me, like directly. And I can, I can hear, them, hear all the voices. NAS critical care paramedics and doctors carry extended drugs above that of the, uh, the, the normal paramedic on the road. My aim was to try and offer her the most appropriate care on scene and then call in uh, an air ambulance to be able to transport her after that we've been able to anaesthetise and put her to sleep uh, to protect her brain and then fly her to Adderbrooks which is where she needed to be for specialist help. When she left the scene I didn't know if she was going to make it or not so it was quite a hard situation everyone was very very worried about her. She had a, um, a bleed to the frontal lobe of, of the brain. Um, she was unconscious for I think about 48 hours. The medical attention that Jess received so quickly and efficiently saved her life. If Carl hadn't turned up so quickly with all his expertise and stabilised her and made her comfortable then and got the air ambulance there, then I dread to think what she'd be like now. Seeing Jessica today uh, after this incident and that she's made a full recovery just makes it worth going out. They saved her life. I still, yeah, I, I can't say anything else. Saved her life.